finally, as you can see, I have a picture of the Irish War Memorial Gardens behind me. I'm going to read a poem by a poet I think everybody knows, Wilfred Owen. This is strange meeting. Before I read it, Wilfred Owen had the bad luck to die seven days before the end of the war on the 4th of November. He also shares the same birthday as me. So I've always felt a certain connection to him. Strange Meeting by Wilfred Owen. It seemed that out of battle I escaped down some profound dull tunnel long since scooped through granites which titanic wars had groined. Yet also there encumbered sleepers groaned too fast in thought of death to be bestirred. Then, as I probed them, one sprang up and stared with piteous recognition in fixed eyes, lifting distressful hands as if to bless, and by his smile I knew that sullen hall, by his dead smile I knew we stood in hell. With a thousand fears of vision's face was grained, yet no blood reached there from the upper ground, and no guns tumped, or down the flues made moan. Strange friend, I said, here is no cause to mourn. None, said that other, save the undone years, the hopelessness. Whatever hope is yours was my life also. I win hunting wild after the wildest beauty of the world, which lies not calm in eyes or braided hair, but mocks the steady running of the hour. And it grieves, grieves richlier than here. For by my glee, my many men have laughed. Out of my weeping, something had been left, which must die now. I mean the truth untold. The pity of war, the pity of war distilled. Now men will go content with what we spoiled. A discontent by all bloody and be spilled. They will be swift, with swiftness of the tigress. None will break ranks, though nations trek from progress. Courage was mine and I had mystery. Wisdom was mine and I had mastery. To miss the march of this retreating world into vain citadels that are not walled. Then when much blood had clogged their chariot wheels, I would go up and wash them from sweet wells, even with truths that lie too deep for taint. I would have poured my spirit without stint. But not through the wounds, not on the cess of war, foreheads of men have bled where no wounds were. I am the enemy who killed my friend. I knew you in this dark, for so you frowned. Yesterday through me as you jabbed and killed. I parried, but my hands were lost and cold. Let us sleep now.